Hey guys, what's up? My name is David Nutting and today I want to take you through five tips on how to lower your blood pressure. And so I've been working in the fitness industry for about 21 years and I have learned that blood pressure is very common with a lot of people. The CDC does say that one out of every three adults here in America does have high blood pressure. So let's take you through real quickly five tips that will be able to help. One is eat your vegetables. Start going to the store, make that the first place you focus on and adding in a bunch of nutrient fiber rich vegetables and then be able to get those at least two times a day from a lunch and dinner and then have them even as snacks. Celery, carrots, uh, leafy vegetables, broccoli, sweet potatoes. Be able to mix all of these different types of foods and they are great for being able to help to lower your blood pressure. Okay, number two is be able to cut back on your salt intake. The American Heart Association recommends around 1500 milligrams as far as how much sodium you would take in per day. Once you start going above that 1500 level, that's where a lot of the problems start happening. So ways to cut back on salt intake is don't add extra salt onto your food. Just one little teaspoon of salt is 2325 milligrams of salt. Well, think of what I just said. It was 1,500 milligrams was the recommendation. Just one little teaspoon of extra salt that you're adding already exceeds that level or exceeds that number. Another thing you want to look at is be able to avoid or even um, lower the amount of processed foods you have. And then look at ingredient labels. So look on the front and look at things that say low sodium. So if you're getting some different types of food, that's going to help a lot. Number three is add potassium. According to the Committee for Responsible Medicine, they say your kidneys use potassium and sodium to balance blood flow in your body. So potassium is great because once we get it, um, that's gonna help to regulate your body and your system. Not only can you get that from different electrolyte type drinks, but think of the food. So we have greens, uh, leafy greens, we have nuts, um, beans, bananas, low-fat dairy, avocados, as well as sweet potatoes and potatoes. Those are going to be loaded up with a lot of potassium. Number four is exercise. Yes, and I am a fitness trainer and this makes a difference is be able to start getting in moderate exercise at the basic level. If you get even three days throughout the week of moderate exercise, let me see, the study had shown that this is actually decreasing your blood pressure by 10 milligrams or 10 milliliters, I'm sorry, of mercury. That's gonna make a big difference. Now it does take a little bit of time, but even just after dinner, go for a walk. Start doing more activities of things you can get in, even outdoor activities. Go for a bike ride. Do things you enjoy and then start working towards those things that might be a little harder. Obviously, hiring a personal trainer is gonna make a big difference getting some strength training, getting that blood pressure where the heart rate's coming up, that's gonna make your heart work harder. And that's what exercise does, is your heart is a muscle. So it's gonna make your heart work a lot um, harder and build it to make it stronger, which is what we want. And then the last one is reduce your stress. So when our stress, when stress comes into the body, that's gonna, of course, uh, elevate a lot of different levels in our body that are not good. So work on reducing your stress, work on breathing, praying, if you meditate, whatever your form is. But I would say find something in the spiritual realm that's gonna be able to help to make a difference. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and, and love to have you follow and even be able to share this with others. These five tips can make a difference, so get started today.